Muslim must welcome all the stakeholders that want to take part on our mission to empower women in rural areas. If we look at the Indonesian situation, palm oil smallholders will grow up to approximately 60% by the year 2030. So just from that alone, the influence that they have on sustainably produced palm oil is massive. Having said that, they are producing way below what industrial plantations would produce at. So it's a fine line, how do we balance that with the smallholders? Because they're really critical for the future of the industry. Smallholders, there's two types in Indonesia. You have scheme smallholders who have a direct relationship with a mill. Then you have independent, they're self-managed, self-funded and self-controlled. And that lack of knowledge equates to a lower level of production. For smallholders, if they want to access markets, they need to be sustainable. So I think it's a real opportunity to collaborate between the government, private sector and the smallholders so that they can produce more sustainably. But I think at first it's a commitment and it's a working together. Anything about capacity building, anything about increasing their knowledge on the environment and be self-sustaining business operators, that's really key women play a massive role. One thing that we have in the cultural confines of Indonesia, a lot of women after leaving school have never had exposure to training or education again. I think it's going to be a slow process, but from what we've seen so far, there's a huge appetite for it. We're committed and the associations are committed to supporting the ongoing gender inclusion. We started the largest independent smallholder program in Indonesia. It is across commodities. But we've got some excellent examples. Organisations have all been working with us on projects. Quite often, they're from other sectors. But what they bring to the table, as well as financial resources, they bring experience. So we're always on the look to how we can work and learn from other companies. And it's not all about money. Quite often, the most valuable thing is sharing of experiences.